Hey folks, back in the game here. Today we are going to open two Big League Baseball 2024 hobby boxes. Let's get into it. I'm recording this on opening day. Uh, however, uh, because I'm not very smart, I put up a video already today. Uh, so you will see this um, on opening second day. Second opening day. Opening day square. I don't know. Open the, the next day after opening day. We'll call it that. Um, and I know today or yesterday for you is not really opening day because... You know, because the their, the Soul Series where the Dodgers and the Padres play played. Uh, but this is when most of the teams are starting. Uh, and I'm pretty excited for the first time in a long time for baseball season. Uh, so let's go ahead real quick and see what's in here. Um, first of all, this is not uh, this is not really a box. This is not a box that collectors collect, really. Uh, this is, you know, mostly for kids. It's a very inexpensive box. It is a hobby box in 2024 that costs $50. Um, it is not expensive. Uh, there's eight packs per box, eight cards per pack, 18 packs per box. Um, really, you can get, oh, Tops doesn't put their stuff on the boxes, do they? Never mind. Um, so I think there's a, a, a lot of parallels we can get in here. Uh, this will be the first time we see a lot of, uh, a lot of the rookies who didn't make series one um, I think Caminero's in here. Uh, I'm not sure who else. Um, but the reason I am opening this uh, is because they did some influencer cards, uh, and I happen to follow a couple of the answer, a couple of the influencers slash guys who break on YouTube. I guess would be the best way to say it. Um, and I th I just think it's super cool if I had a card of theirs. Um, so the, the two main ones I follow are Jabs and um, Shy City. Uh, but also I watch a lot of Stryker stuff too. I don't, I don't, I'm participating in his, one, of, one of his breaks, but I watch a lot of his stuff. Um, the other two that made it, I, uh, Breaks with Jess is one, and I can't remember the other name, that are not people that I've ever, um, you know, followed or interacted with or anything. Um, but I, I assume they are, you know, good people as well. Um, given that they, that they made that cut. So, um, that's really the only reason I'm, I'm opening these. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure a couple of these cards are, will be worth a couple bucks. That's, that's fine. I'm, I'm not really worried about, you know, getting money back or any kind of stuff with this. I, I'm, you know what, if I have enough, maybe I'll make the set. Who knows? Um, <clears throat> all right. So we'll go through this. I, I think maybe I'll just call out the names that, um, maybe we'll make a rookie pile. And I'll call out anybody um, bigger and maybe that's the guy who just got popped for steroids, right? On the uh, reds. And I think there's one of these uh, rainbow foils in every pack. So, um, you know, if, if I were a kid and I was, I was collecting cards, this is the stuff I would, I would like. Mm would have liked back in the day. Maybe I wouldn't like it now because I wouldn't understand, um, I wouldn't understand price points because I've, like I've said in other videos, I've definitely seen kids running around with, you know, four to $10,000 in cash at some of these card shows. Um, there's a big one. There's a Yamamoto. Uh, we'll see how he does in his first real start. Um, he, he got shelled in the, in the, uh, in spring training, um, you know, maybe if I was a kid, I'd, I'd gravitate towards the stuff that was expensive, and you know, I wouldn't have been able to afford it when I was a kid. But maybe I would, you know, figure out a way to trade up like some of these kids have. I, I don't really know. Um, but this is the kind of stuff where I would, um, in the past, I probably would have gravitated towards just because, you know, it's got cool stuff. Like, look at this sweet insert. Um, and you can get parallels. Parallels weren't really a thing when I was a kid, but if, if every pack I opened, I got something shiny, man, that would have been sweet. I don't know. I, I guess it's hard to say what I would have done as a kid, but, um, but I think this is a cool, 
a cool thing anyway. It's just not a it's just not a collector set. That's all. Um, so if you're if you're watching this trying to see if I you know pull a a giant expensive card, it's it's probably not happening. So this is a I think this is a blue foil. So this is one of the more rare inserts. I think this is one per box, one per hobby box. So Volpe, that's a good one. And there's a Mookie something. Mookie bets TBL, it says. Tops Big League. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Some sort of insert. Okay. And then here is the silver Marcus Stroman. Two cubs so far in the silvers or rainbow foils. Got to stop opening those backwards. All right. Nailer. Baxter for the D-backs insert. And then rainbow foil of Yuri Perez. Wow, that that goofiness on that corner there makes it look like the corner's messed up, but it is it is just part of the pattern. So I hope everybody is having or had <laughs> had at this point a good opening day. I hope you get to see some some good baseball. I guess we'll we'll find out here in a couple of hours. I will at least um, see how everything's going. I'm pretty excited. So this is a cherry blossom, I think. I don't know. So maybe this is the same thing. Mookie's is some sort of uh, like fanfare stuff they put at parades uh, and Manny's is cherry blossom. I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to look that up. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll have a little card there to show you what it is. Uh, but I don't know at this point. And William Contreras on the rainbow foil. So influencer cards, from my understanding, are limited to a thousand printed, and uh, they are only one in every two cases. So chances of getting them are pretty low. But we'll see what we can do. Here's another to the moon. Judge. Nice one. And Castellanos is the rainbow foil. Soriano. Mason Wynn, that's his first rookie card. A Rosarena, good vibrations. And Rizzo on the rainbow foil. I said I was gonna flip those around, didn't I? I have to try and remember. Votto. Evan Carter, rookie. Judge to the moon, Freddie. And Kibrian Hayes, rainbow foil. Try and open it this way. I try and open it like other other people open on their channels, and I'm I'm often not very good at that. Um, I think maybe it's because I'm left-handed, but also maybe because I'm not coordinated. I'm not sure. Reese Olsen. And then we have a Carmen Mladzinski, rookie. Good Vibrations, Mauricio, who is a rookie. And Lars Newtbar on the rainbow foil. We'll go through these a little faster now. Here is a, whatever the, that insert is, George Brett, and Rainbow Foil, Josh Young. So I'm kind of bummed. I, I went out to buy these at, 
at my local hobby shop. Uh, shout out to Ron, the owner, um, just because he let me buy these two boxes, although he had them set aside for somebody else. He's got more coming in uh, this afternoon, uh, but I wasn't gonna be able to come back. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm a little bummed. I came back and, and saw that there was a note from FedEx on my door that I had missed the, um, oh, Bo Jackson, look at that. That I'd missed uh, my delivery, and that delivery is my Connor Bedard back from PSA. So that kind of stinks. It's a signature required. Uh, so I'm either gonna have to go pick it up or maybe they'll try and re-deliver it tomorrow. But I would like to have had that in hand today. Good Vibrations, Frankie Lindor, and Sunny Gray. There you go, Danny. Going in your pile. Shohei in a Dodgers uniform. That's the first one I've seen. Very nice. Put that in the good pile. Soto in a Yankees uniform. That's the first one I've seen. Excellent. I'm assuming those are both airbrushed, but who knows. And then Swing and Fryer for the Padres and Matt McLean on the Rainbow Foil. Uh, he is going to miss a while. He just had shoulder surgery. So that's a little bit of a, a bummer to people around here. I'm not that far from Cincinnati. Uh, and I know they were looking forward to him this year. Hernandez. Springer Good Vibrations and... J.D. Martinez in the Dodgers uniform. Freilich. All right, another to the moon. And that is Jordan. Those are a lot like the Cosmic. Um, I can't remember what they were called, but there's a, there's a insert like that that's a little bit cut out uh, and I, I have the Frank Thomas one of those all right Canzone Williams Nola Freeman good vibrations and Riley Green how did he do last year 16 Oh, no. 11 and 37. Oh, so he was up with the Tigers the year before a lot more. Okay, I didn't know that. Heston Kerstjad, that's his first rookie card, I think. Become a big league legend. Andrew McCutcheon, and Adolis Garcia on the rainbow foil. Corbin Dominguez, Soderstrom, Mason Wynn to the moon, and Max Freed on the rainbow foil. All right, let's, uh, let's jump into this last box. DeLuca. Davis. Meckler. Mascots. Mascot. Huh, is that... Just the name, is his name mascot? All right, I don't know. And I'm technically a White Sox fan. McCutcheon. I have never been to, I don't know, whatever they called New Comiskey now. Or I never went to Old Comiskey either. Um, so I, I'm not familiar with what the mascot's name is. If it's just mascot, I don't know, that's odd. Okay. Meadows, Tatis, Raleigh, that guy again, Mookie again, Blake Snell again. Oh, 
That's literally the same pack, huh? Well, hopefully we don't get a bunch of the same stuff because I'd really like to get an influencer card in here. Plus we don't have an Ellie yet. There's a Acuna. There's an Ichiro. Oh, and a Spencer Strider, nice. Another sunny gray for you, Danny. Odd, very odd that these, some of these are the same. Something different coming up. All right, so we have Judge. So this is a rare one, a red, super rare. See, it says super rare up there. So that can't be bad to have an Aaron Judge, huh? All right. And then this is some sort of artwork J-Rod. Maybe that's that same set with the, with the cherry blossoms. I'll have to look that up. Yep, a lot of these are real familiar. Oh, that kind of stinks. Uh, all right, Acuna and Verdugo. Boo. That's a bummer because I can guarantee you these came from the same case because uh, Ron said he only got, oh, he didn't say one case, he said one shipment. So I guess it's technically possible that these came from uh, different cases in one shipment and he just sold out pretty fast, but I, I don't know for sure. I would think they're from one case given they were the last couple there. Well, there's an Ellie, all right. And Jazz for the rainbow foil. Okay, so this is a, oh, a Bobby Blue? Is that a blue? I think so. Got a little bit of a ding up there in the corner, or in the upper, upper left, yeah. But that's nice. We got a mascots Billy the Marlin and Masataki Yoshida on the rainbow foil. Miggy Dominguez again. Soderstrom again. Hammer and Hank. Sal Frelick. That's the first bigger rookie in the rainbow foil that we've gotten. I think it said it was a 310 card set somewhere around there. So, you know, not huge, not, not tiny. Rodriguez again. Big Mac. And Jeff McNeil. All right, looks like we have what, about five or six packs left. Camonero on the good vibrations and a Dolis on the rainbow foil again. So I hope you're having a good opening day. I hope you're having a good, hope you had a good opening day. I hope you're having a good uh, second day of baseball season. Hopefully you get to see a lot of cool stuff and, uh, and things are going good for your team. Unless your team's playing my team, then, well, I'll wish it to you anyway. Uh, all right, Otani to the moon, that was nice. And another Ozzy Albies rainbow foil. Now it looks like we have four left. Another Shohei, Frelick, and then 
and there's a Mason win on that insert set. And Dansby Swanson again. So those were the first two rainbow foil, foils I pulled out. The last two were the first two. So collation maybe leaves a little something to, to be desired in, in a uh, set this big, I think. But it's, you know, probably not really about that, right? And there's Orbit for the Astros and George Kirby on the rainbow foil. I'm so excited for baseball season that I didn't even check to see what games are on today. Like, I literally don't care. I'm just going to watch them. And I haven't just watched baseball, not looking for a specific team in a really long time. I would say um, 25 years or more, probably. So it should be a very interesting day. Unless it's one of those days where it's just pitching and no offense, then I'm going to be super bored. But we'll see. There's an Adley Good Vibrations and Contreras again. That was the one of the first few that we opened as well. That's the third one of that guy. Torkelson to the moon. And Devers on the rainbow foil. All right, so we got one pack left to get us an influencer. I do not think that's gonna happen, but that's okay. It's opening day. Yeah, this is the first pack I opened. Okay, Evan Carter to the moon. And Rizzo again. All right, so, you know, this is not a it's not a product where there are hit hits, right? So I'm not going to really go through those. Um, if I'd have got an influencer, maybe I would. But um, this is just a little fun rip for for very, very cheap comparatively to today's baseball prices, right? Um, it's less than the a, a hobby box is $49. So less than the cost of two blasters. Um, <clears throat> and, and in some, case, some cases, just barely more than one. Right, so um, anyway, it was a, a fun little rip. Didn't get quite uh, an influencer like I liked, but uh, I will survive. Got some cool little cards. I like those to the moons. Uh, all right, so uh, if you're new here, please click subscribe. Uh, if you uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below. I always appreciate a like and a comment, um, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.